Every story begins at the end of another. The shaman's path is one of healing, one of guiding. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing, of guiding? Baba, help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Kalunga, God of Death. Kalunga, god of death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow... Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed, I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba, a sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail, Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. What do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman, my father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness, show you the grace of the moon. You look at these statues with anguish, Nganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here, to Patakatifu. We would admire these statues with fear, awe. My Baba would tell me the tales, great tales, wondrous tales of the great spirits of this land. And every time we passed through these crossroads, I would look at them and wonder if I would ever be so lucky to be graced with their presence. Now you look at them and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls you. This daunting task of facing the great spirits. No. I am reminded of my Baba.
powerful mask. I use the mask to channel my power. It is the mask of the moon. Baba taught me the ways. Graceful is the flow. A harmony soaked in virtuous intent. We should keep moving. Your proficiency intrigues me, but yet it does not make you immortal, Kijana. You are injured. You must heal. I am fine. A gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion. <laughs> Maybe you are right. Fine. I will heal. I have seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side. And these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. No matter, there must be a key nearby. I will show you the strength of the sun. a powerful history. The Mask of the Sun. Baba showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love. The fiery flames of noble intentions. Hmm. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? Only time will tell. The Sun. The Moon. I must embrace the dance. It is the spiritual property that resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever.
the key. Uh, I cannot reach it. The fury, shaman. Fury and grace. The mask of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kamauhai Makifo. Floating griot idol. Do you feel that too? That energy? I do. It is not a sense of apprehension or fear, only inspiration. It is coming. I want to go closer, but I am not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. Staring to him, he felt the heat of a manifested form, something tangible, something real. Yet the eyes told Zhao a different tale, a distance in the pupils, a coldness that clung. Meeting death is never an easy thing. The lives of this world danced to his melody, slept to his lullaby, lamented to his dirge. At least, that is what they say. Yet Zhao stood and greeted him in a world of perfect silence. No grandeur or ceremony. Just death, a boy, and a haunting request. Finally, now to the gate.
Zhao, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. The sooner I bring you the great spirit, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba, get to the great spirit. and the moon, the great bodies that hold dominion over the skies. She is the mother that gives the warm embrace when the endless sea above is a coursing blue. Even in the cloudiest of days, she waits behind the veil to reassure. He is the father, there in the darkness. Though the shadows lay heavy, the light brings reprieve, ushers forth the path to a sweet lilting clarity. The warmth and the light bound together in a harmony fueled by the balance. The collective parent, protecting, guiding. Zhao held the masks of the sun and the moon to the highest adoration, for as long as the dominion was close, the embrace would never leave him. voice. Give her a moment. Let her finish her melody. I cannot wait. Hey, move please. Huh? I said move. Ah! So, wait. Another obstacle, another obstruction. The gates, the spirits, the girl, now this stupid bridge. Hmm, I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <laughs> that girl up by the bridge. She was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface. I know this symbol. Greatness. Greatness. Fools chase it, yet heroes are found by it. 
What is such a symbol doing here? I once saw my Baba paint the same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Not every challenge needs a challenger. Let us continue our journey. We have much to do. No, no, you do not understand. Beyond there is a power. I can feel it, one that only we can use. All I have to do is get through it. Prove my worthiness as a shaman. Hmm. The choice has always is yours. If you believe you can, then you must. But be cautious. I've seen this before. Our shamans drink it. See how delicate it is. Powerful too. Yes. You are lucky, Zhao. This power in the wrong hands would be disastrous. Today, it has found a hopeful host. You are a shaman of Kinzera. Use this power how the others would have wanted. For good. For greatness. First weeks of the sickness. In those first weeks of the sickness, Zhao had never left his Baba's side. Yet, beyond their door, a different story unfolded. He would hear the cautioned orders of the warriors ferrying the people onto the long roads away. He remembered now the cries of children as they left their homes, and the louder sobs of the elders that knew they may never see their lands again. Those that did not flee succumbed to the growing darkness of the world. One, then another, then another. Falling by a cruel grip of survival that none could sustain, that none could strengthen. It was the slow fall of time that brought the sickness to his home, to his Baba. The safety of the door mattered little now. The pain and the hearth became as one. Did you really think that Abrid would best me? Yes, I did. <laughs> Shows how much faith you have in me. Yes, it does. Tricksters corrupted by their lingering circumstance. They have abandoned their jesting nature for spite. Do not underestimate them, Zhao.
that statue. It looks just like the sun and moon masks. Bamba. Hmm. The tale tells us his legend. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Bamba took a small stone, imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highland's peak when the waters were at their angriest. The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue you with your predecessor's power, Bamba's stone. <laughs> what is funny? Uh, sorry, uh, Bamba stone? <laughs> is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. <laughs> he got a shrine for that. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Use these teachings well. All shamans get shrines. No. The actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not. Hmm. around the boy fell and cascaded unto themselves with a will of their own. 
The memories of the past echoed in Zhao's ears as he ventured through these ancient caverns. The elated laugh of a child as she splashed her mother. The sloshing of pots filled with the clean, tranquil water brought to a family to cook together, to be together. The waters around the boy fell and cascaded onto themselves with a will of their own. In a way, it was a reminder to Zhao to take comfort in the simple wonders of our world, to behold the humble incarnations of nature. He welcomed this reminder again and again, each step a longing dream of the distant tranquility. Over the broken bridge, Zhao. Please do not fall this time. <laughs> 